and we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, million TPS uh, that we've been working on. So uh, we'll try and go quite quickly, uh, but when you think of a million TPS, it's actually one of the first questions is how do you actually visualize it? So one thing that we sort of decided to do is actually we can visualize, we can make a very, very visual demonstration if every transaction, say, like updates a color in a pixel in an image. So if we look at actually one, one roll-up, um, this is what's sort of happening. We have an account that is sort of pools of uh, three different assets, the, the red asset, green, and blue, and these are tickets that are deposited from layer one. And then every single transaction uh, is a movement of this color, either to one of the pixels that show up in the image, uh, either to them or away from them. So here you can see we move some red out of account one, some green into account one, and then some blue out of uh, account one. And these are all uh, individual transactions. Uh, and every, every time a transaction happens as well, we write this out to the, the debug log of the rollup. Um, and this is then picked up by the, the visualization. So moving on. So if you zoom out, then actually, if you add up all these rollups together, uh, all their different pixels, they form a grid. So if we want uh, a million TPS, then on Monday night, which is where we were running the, the demo, uh, you have 15 second block time, so there's actually 15 million transfers that go into every block. Uh, and so every, every rollup gets sort of 5,000 5, pixels or 5,000 5, accounts in them. Uh, and then each time, each, each block, they process 15,000 transfers. So it's, so it's a green, a red, and a blue in, in every pixel. So you can see the sort of data flow that we, that we have within the demo. So again, this is just one rollup. Uh, and imagine this happening sort of a thousand times uh, in parallel. So we start by sending the, the transfer data um, off to the data availability committee, um, specifically to the coordinator, which sends the data off to the members and the observer. The members uh, sign the sort of the, the data, validate that it sort of makes sense and is correct, correctly constructed. Uh, return the signatures back to the coordinator, which then sends it back to our orchestrator. And then this is the this certificate, and this is the really cool thing about data availability. Like this, this relatively small thing gets submitted to the layer one inbox, sort of a thousand, one for each, one for each rollup. Um, the observer, in the meantime, has made all the data available on the actual uh, rollup, the machine where the rollup node is running. And then when the certificate comes in through layer one, the kernel uh, validates the certificate, um, requests all the data, um, importing it through the reveal data channel. Uh, and process the, the transactions, which includes a cryptographic signature for every transaction, which is sort of the same signature scheme as TZ1 and so on. Um, so when you actually do it all together, uh, it looks like this. Cool. So what is interesting in the setup is that we are trying to visualize a lot of transactions as pixels, and it turns out that we are not Netflix. And visualizing millions of pixels streamed from, machine, from machines to others and, and things like that is quite hard, and this will explain a lot of the glitches that you will see. So it's a testament of the things that um, we did try very hard the, to, to make it work as best as we could, but we have some glitch that happened, we have some reminiscent image and things like that. Um, and it can also explain why you have sometimes, like we're going a, a bit uh, below the one million marks, and we catch up after, after that, uh, mostly because of how the visualization is done and we try to batch some, some, opera some operation and things like that. But at the end, what you get is, more often than not, I would say, one million TPS uh, displayed. And um, so Emma mentioned 15 second time blocks, it takes around one, 11 to 12 seconds to most of the rollups to actually perform the computation of, uh, of, of one block. So we are actually have, have a bit of room for improvement even, and we could have targeted more, but there is a nice ring to one million, right? You uh, see quite a lot sometimes that the sort of number on the left sort of stops, um, and that's because actually all the rollups have sort of finished processing the transactions for the blocks and are waiting to get the data from the next block. Um, 
but yeah, there's a, as, as, as Thomas said, there's just so much batching that has to go on within the visualization uh, that sometimes like pixels have actually, like the transactions have actually happened on the rollups, but the, the, uh, the updates haven't made it the way through like all the, all the various batches in the, in the system. So this was uh, the 1 million TTS demo. So to recall a bit of context, one of the main reasons that we did the smart rollups to begin with was to bring horizontal scaling. And so really the idea is that you have these 15 million transactions that are happening off-chain and not on the validator level, and which is nice because you don't really want your Raspberry Pi to have to process these 15 million signatures for every block. So it's, a, it's actually a good property. And the other thing is that uh, you cannot just stop at horizontal scaling of the computation. It's, uh, it has been said al al already today, but uh, typically for one, for one Tezos block, each, um, each rollup is processing two megabytes of data. And a Tezos block, it's uh, 500 and a few kilobytes. Uh, and it's not going up uh, anytime soon. And so the, this is the reason why we have to, to put not only uh, computation, but also to put data off chain. And we are using DAC here, and we are using one DAC per, uh, per rollup. Uh, we can imagine having other setups where one DAC is actually used by many rollups. And we can, in the a very near future, I, uh, we, can, we could uh, have a, a very big DAC, which is the, the layer one, uh, thanks to uh, the data availability layer project. Um, that being said, uh, at the end, we can have some, uh, some metrics. So 1,000 rollups. Uh, with 1,000 DAX set up of three nodes each plus the ones that download. So uh, it's uh, the grand total of uh, 5,000 binaries to have uh, the demo running. Uh, we used C2 machine at GCP, 600 of them. So basically, you have uh, 100 uh, machines that are used for the DAX setups and for the, for the Octes node. And then you have uh, 500 uh, machines for the rollup node. So two rollup nodes per machine. And at the end, what we get is something like almost 10,000 uh, CPUs. So it's actually uh, not that high when you think about it, because it's 10, C uh, 10 cores, not CPU, sorry, 10 cores per uh, rollup, which is not that high. But in practice, it could be even lower. And, and from our experiment, at least half of that is required for the, for the visualization part. Again, we are not Netflix. Uh, and you can divide this number by, uh, by two and have the demonstration that is running, demonstrably running by, by, the, by other metrics, like the time that it takes for, uh, for um, a Tezos block to be processed by the rollup node and things like that. But yeah, for, for, the, for the Netflix effect or the streaming effect, we, we effectively need uh, these uh, kind of numbers. And, uh, and hopefully this will be uh, made uh, easily reproducible. Uh, all of the tools are already there. It's just a question of polishing them so that it's uh, not just a false, pro not a false, but like a, a promises, but it, it's turned into reality. And that's mostly it. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions uh, quickly? You, you don't have to, it's, it's, it's not a requirement. <laughs> we, we have time to catch up, I think, so. Uh, what sort of demo can we see in the future, in a few months from now, with the next evolution? Well, I mean, obviously, smart rollups are um, sort of continuously being worked on. Like, because they are enshrined within the protocol, um, a lot of the improvements to layer one like translate also to improvements for smart rollups. Um, obviously, the EVM Etherlink is is in the works. It's you can play around with that on GhostNet as well. Um, so yeah, there's definitely like a lot of uh, exciting things coming down the pipeline. We will probably reuse the setup for uh, other data availability solution, potentially not directly the, the one million thing, but uh, at least now we have a way to visualize the transaction. Uh, and again, like transactions that we try to make as um, trustworthy as possible in the sense that it's really a signature check and interaction with, uh, with the storage. So, it's, uh, so we probably will try to, to recycle that as much as possible. We are the green blockchain after all. Thank you very much. Thank you.